can you trade enough value to get a meeting? So this is the most important factor. When I learned this and I realized that the only thing that they cared about was it's not a waste of their time, I started offering people value for time. So this is inside you, like it's right in here and there's nothing you can do about it. So it's in here and you either are convicted. If you don't believe you, then I can't believe you either. Professional persistence. I once called a client 75 weeks in a row on Monday and I left a voicemail every single week. On the 76th week, he picked up the phone and he said, you've called me 1 million times and he wasn't trying to uh, appreciate my persistence. Uh, I had no chops at all. I just continued to be persistent. He said, listen, if you drive out here right now, I'll give you these orders. And I literally got him in my car. I drove over, I got his orders after the 76 week. I believe you're going to waste my time. That is the only objection you're gonna get. That's not my experience. If I book a meeting since I was 19 years old, everybody showed up for a meeting. What would you teach me? If I gave you 25 minutes, no demo, no Jacob, what would I learn in that 25 minutes? Like what, what would I learn that I would go like, wow, that was really helpful. Yeah, what do you do on a third no? Yeah. Um, there's there's two things that you, you need to do is you need to increase the value of the time you're asking me for. Like, what are you going to do for me? Um, I'm saying this to everyone, so I think it's fair. Um, I'm a decision maker, mm -hmm. so I make decisions. So what what would a decision maker find useful if the thing that they're trying to do is to make a decision? Like I, if I'm trying to make a decision, I need somebody to enable my decision making because I'm not an expert in property or leads. Yeah, I'm less nice. <laughs> I, I think that my job is not to be, I, I can be likable later. Right now I need to get a meeting. And then when I get to sit down in front of them, when they go like, this guy can actually help me, then they like me. <laughs> but I don't need them to like me at the beginning of this, I need them to say yes to a meeting. And if you can stay single-minded focused on the meeting and the value that I get out of it. Reason for my call is I went to your website, thesalesblog.net, and I noticed you scored a 61 out of 100 on the Google page performance. Okay. You know, one, one of the other parts of this is there's, there's a couple other insights. What I'd like to do is try to just maybe, you know, if it makes sense, I could show you uh, we could grab, grab a call a little bit later this week and spend some time kind of going through some of the other things that I found. There's a, there's a lot of other uh, insights that maybe even your web team would add that and get benefit out of as well. Just uh, send me an email and we'll reach out to you when we can get you on the calendar. Uh, I'd love to do that, but it, some of this stuff actually makes sense to kind of visually see. Would it make sense maybe to get on a call on, I don't know, Thursday at 8? I, I don't want to waste your time, uh, and but I, 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 I would still like to to help you because the interest is there. And what I would like to know is have someone from the team going through exactly what you would need in the time that you that you would manage. Can you send me an email? Actually with property leasing, uh, emails are, are not the best uh, way to go precisely because you can't see the, the property, you can't see what we can offer. So I would love for you to uh, give me 20, 25 minutes at most with one of our representatives. Good uh, Thursday. Well, if you shift your SDR's focus from, you know, manual research and contact data mining, you know, all that grunt work of segmentation and personalization of outreach, your SDRs would actually have double the time to focus on prospects that are already engaged and they'll be a lot more receptive to a cold call or a demo meeting. And possibly maybe you um, heard the name right down when I called you just now and it rung a bell because we already sent out a few emails. Do you recall any of those? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Well, I would love to, I would love to set up 20 minutes on the calendar um, for further this week to explain, you know, how Rightbound can help you expand your target market reach and just um, in time for those two new SDRs that you're planning to hire, you could actually be potentially doubling their connection rate and, you know, increasing the SQLs. We're actually going to just uh, 
the money that I would spend with you is going to go to another SDR. So the, our plan right now is to just to hire the staff that we need. So not a good fit right now, but send me some information. We'll keep it on file.